welcome back to my channel guys let's make a joggers you can call it a carrot trouser let's get started if it, this is what you would like to see welcome i have this two yard ankara fabric or african fabric to make the joggers and i'm going to be making use of the elastic one inch elastic band my scissors my cuffs my ruler my chalk in my tape room so let's get right into it thank you so to know the amount of fabric to put on fold just take the light your largest measurement like mine is the hip my hip is 42 add like three inches to heat the amount of fabric to put on fold the largest part of your body of your measurement add three inches to four inches to it so i have my like so so my hip is 10.5 which is 42 i had it like i had it like three and a half to it so you can make yours like that so i'm going to start chalking out the measurement i'm going to have a starting point here This is the starting point which is serve as my waist and from that place I'll measure downward two inches for the elastic band I'm going to be making use of one inch elastic band but I will need another one inch to fold it in so I have the first two inches and from there from these two inches And from the two inches that I have here, let me mark it out so that it will be visible enough. So from these two inches, I'm going to mark out my hip. From my waist to the hip, I make use of nine inches. Nine inches. I also mark that out. I'll rule it out. This is serving as our waist now. So from there, I'm going to mark my crouch measurement. I make use of 11 inches. To measure your crouch, there's a way you measure it, that you get it perfectly. So I have it ruled out. For the crouch, you have to get a flat surface like a chair a flat one like my shoe i make use of my shoe whenever i want to measure my uh, you know customer for that you get a flat surface surface tell the person to sit on it comfortably then you measure from where the waist is or where you can ask where you want the trouser band to be so from so from the waist you just measure so down to the seat and that's how you get your I crouch. Have my crouch to be 11 from the waist my hip to be in nine inches and don't forget this is our our band this will serve us as our band a casing for the elastic band okay so from there i'm going to measure my desired trouser length my desired trouser length is 38 inches i have 38 inches 38 inches I have 30, 38 inches as my desired length. I'm going to add 2 inches more. That will serve as the casing for the elastic band at the length. I hope you understand. It's a joggers. Or you call it a carrot trouser. You will have to add elastic to the, to the M length. Here. So I added 2 inches to it. This is my desired length and i added two inches for the elastic band at the m length so it's perfect i have 40 inches here so i'm going to mark it out like this and like that okay 
because it, it is an elastic uh, trouser, you need to have elastic at, 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 at the band. I don't need, really need to shape it. So you have to, whatever you have as your hip, you bring it up here because it's going to have elastic. My hip is 42, so 42 divided by 4 is 10.5. I'm still going to have my 10.5 here at the band. So here, I will also put my 10.5 for my hip measurement so I can rule it. And just roll it down to the crouch like that roll it down to the crouch so for the crouch i'll be just measure your lap your lap measurements measure your run lap you make sure it's not loose and it is not tight so my lap is is 26 i have 13 i'm going to add half inch to it And for the hip too, I'm going to add half inch. And the waist, I also add half inch to it. So I'm going to connect all this line back. So from here, since you have your lap here, you can decide to take it down and measure your round ankle. For my round ankle, since it's going to be having an elastic band, I'll be making use of 10, 10 inches. So opening it will give 20 inches, 10 inches. So I'm going to rule from here to this side. You can shape it using this. So I have it. I'm going to shape this side too. Just come out, come out here by one inch. One inch. Make sure this this side is not that deep. So you can shape it to A. Okay. So I have it cut out. The next thing I'm going to do is to open it up, but I will use it to cut the back part before opening it at the side. So cutting of the back now. Just make sure you have like three inches more for the back uh, fabric three inches more like so three inches whatever you have here is what you're still going to have for the back it's just you're going to have some alterations like for this one so i'm going to increase this part by one and a half or increase it by one and a half just like this one and a half one and a half so here I'm going to increase it by two and a half two and a half so I can I can just mark it up now So from there, I'm going to mark it. And to touch the two inches for the crouch. And this side, you can decide to do one and a half, two inches. So two inches is okay. One and a half, lay. One and a half, straight down. Just one and a half. Straight down. 
so I'm going to connect the dots now. This I go like this. And just also mark. So, I'll cut it out. So, I have big legs. So, I will now cut A into two. Remember to cut it into two. So right now, the first I'm going to do, you can join here, also join the back as well. So right now I have joined the crouch part, you can see. I've joined it down to the hanko. So I decided to add a side pocket to it. If you don't know how to cut a side pocket, there's an uh, a video on how to cut a side pocket. I'm going to put the link in the description box below. And so right now I'll go to the machine and sew the side. Sew the side with half inch and the other side with half inch so i'll now fold the waist for the band i'll come and show you let me join the sides first and come and show you so that it will not get confusing so i have joined every part of it the only thing remaining now is the band remember the two inches i left here I'm going to fold it in and I'll add my elastic band. What I have here is my hip uh, circumference, which is uh, 42 inches. I'm going to be deducting like 10 inches from it. So I want the, uh, the elastic to be 32 inches for the waist. My normal waist is 34 inches. So you see, it's just 2 inches different, but it will give it that puffiness and to make it fitted at the waist. And I'm also going to take the 
ankle and also fold remember i added two inches here i also fold and pass my elastic band in it then i'll come and show you the final look this is the couch you can see how long it is now so by the time i deduct my two inches from here by the time i deduct these two inches it will give me my perfect crouch to give me my perfect crouch which is 11 inches so i will go and do that and come and show you the final look guys this is the final look can you see how beautiful it is the carrot trouser you call it a joggers make yours too so guys give me a thumbs up share this video subscribe to my channel thank you so much i decided to rock it with a crepe top so lovely thank you guys i love you bye